Hi YouTube. I'm going to talk about how to uh, eliminate blade play on a slip joint knife. Uh, this is an old knife I have that has uh, play on this end here, on this joint. And um, so basically I learned this from my friends at uh, Blade Forums. Uh, you first squeeze this end, this joint, with a vise and then um, you peen the pin with a ball peen hammer and uh, that should tighten up the um, joint again. Okay, so I don't have a vise, but uh, I'm gonna use a C-clamp. A lot of people have those. I'm using two blocks of wood to squeeze my knife. You could use two pieces of leather if you want. Um, claw hammer, everybody has one of these. This is a, um, our anvil. And then this is a rarer item, the ball peen hammer. Um, you might have to pick one of these up just to do jobs like this, but uh, I've already used it once to make my Scandinavian knife that uh, a lot of people give me thumbs down for, but that's okay. But anyway, you end up using this again, I think. So it's not very expensive. It's only like 10 bucks. Okay, so I've got my knife uh, clamped in between my two pieces of wood you want the uh, pressure to be directly on that pivot pin and what you're trying to do is you're trying to squeeze that pivot pin so that um, all the extra space is kinda uh, taken up and the pivot pin ends up uh, sitting proud a little bit so I'm gonna give it a few more squeezes here and then <clears throat> open it up Let's see uh, how we do here. So there's pivot pin. You can see it's sticking out a little bit. Um, this knife is going to be a little challenge to do this because the pivot pin is recessed. I think when you squeeze it, it temporarily gives it um, tightens up the joint some, but you really have to peen the pin to make it permanent. Okay, I've got my hammer on a spare piece of wood to uh, protect my floor. I'm actually going to put this uh, kind of indented part onto a ridge on my hammer. That should make good contact. Now I'm going to hit the uh, end of the pin with the ball on my um, ball peen hammer. You don't have to hit it very hard, just a few gentle taps. Okay, now let's see. Still blade play in there. Back to the hammer. less I'm gonna try painting the other end now so actually you want to think long and hard about this because um, you know you might mess up one end that you have to clean up later so actually I'm gonna go back to the end I was painting This way you only have one end to clean up. Okay, so there's a lot there's a lot less blade. There's actually just a teeny tiny bit of blade play now, but look what we've done to that uh, surface here. So he, you have to like sand and buff this out. If you have a buffing wheel, that's great. Okay, but we've taken out the uh, taken out the play on the blade. Okay, so it should also be on this pen blade as well should be firmer, which it is. So um, you can use different grits of sandpaper to kind of buff out the uh, dings you put on the uh, bolster here. 
and um, if you have power tools that's great I, I'm sure that'll help a lot I think I could have probably been more accurate with my peening it's kind of dark in this room uh, the camera can see well but I can't um, so I, ca I could probably put less dings in it but anyway uh, I think this is pretty much how you do it thanks for watching